Good morning. I'm in a great mood today. I'm heading to work. Just got off uh, back to work from a uh, four day weekend. So, uh, so what I'm hearing is there's a lot of fake silver out there. A lot of fake silver out there. A little tidbit of information. Did you know China makes fake rice? They forge rice. <laughs> it, it is so funny. A forgery, you go to you go and you buy accidentally buy fake rice that's how that's how diabolical they are the people who make fake rice could care less about the people who buy it and actually consume it that's how diabolical they are so if you're surprised that there's a ton of fake silver out there I don't know what to say because if they'll make fake rice they'll definitely make something like fake gold and silver why am I saying this again I'm hearing a lot of it I'm hearing a lot of stories come through my email and um, I've made a video I don't know three four years no it has to be closer to four years ago <coughs> four or five actually Jesus again if you hear me coughing these big trees they produce a flower in this time of the year year it just makes my throat itch and I cough so I made a video and I think I'm just gonna redo remake that video <laughs> so as the years progressed the uh, the machinery the technology has become cheaper for counterfeiters who counterfeit whatever they want to counterfeit To purchase it's become so cheap now that that technology is e easy to afford heck they're buying real um, mint presses you put the the blanks the blank of uh, silver in there and it presses they're buying real stuff like that the only thing they're missing is the plates so that the, these coins are actually being minted by uh, by real machines the only thing different is they're fake plates. And they put a, a, a slug in there. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll put the slug, they'll put a micro fine coating of silver on there. What do they call that? Electroplating. And boom, looks just like a coin. Just looks just like a silver eagle. Silver eagles actually, I won't say were the very hardest coin to, to counterfeit. But they were up there. They were in like the top five or ten. Now they're like easy. So, folks, four or five years ago, I said, do not buy your silver off of eBay. And so many people said, well, you can go to the, uh, you can go to actually at Mex and uh, JM Bullion on, on, on eBay. And I said to them, why? Why not just go directly to them? Why do you have to go to a a site like eBay just to go back to 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 Admex. Why? Why? Why do it? Well, you could save like five percent. Well, you can lose a hundred percent. They didn't get grass at the, these young people at the time. You know, five percent. Whoa! I can I can save I can save seven cents. Oh my God! You saved seven cents. To this day, a lot of them don't even know whether they got real silver or not. So, I'd rather pay full price on my silver than risk losing full price. Okay, there's a couple things about eBay that a lot of people do not know. When you go to sell silver, let's say you're sell, selling real silver, it's 100% real. The recipient receives it receives it did you know all they need to do is make a complaint to eBay that the silver was fake and eBay will force the seller to refund all the money 
and the receiver doesn't even have to return it. Little scam, another another side scam that y'all didn't know that's going on with eBay. Don't even sell your silver on eBay. I, I mean, it it's just not worth it. It's just not worth losing your money, uh, even if it's a even if it's just a, like a five percent chance that you're gonna get ripped off one way or the other with with one scam or the, or another. Just not worth it. Um, just slightly above eBay is Craigslist. Craigslist is not much better, but it is a little better because you can actually meet the person. You can pick a spot. I would recommend a, um, a public spot, not some dark alleyway or uh, or desert. Pick a Starbucks. Pick a pick a place where everybody goes to. You can sit down. You can take a look at the silver that you're buying. You could sit down or grab the cash that you're selling for. Little step up, okay, in safety, and step up and guarantee that you're gonna either get your cash or you're gonna get the silver that you're buying. Okay, silver or, or gold for that matter. Uh, again, I gotta emphasize that you need to do not invite these people to your home because now they know you're a silver stacker. Okay? You go and you meet them somewhere. Do not invite these people to your home. It's not like selling a piece of furniture. Okay? Last thing you want is somebody out there knowing that you sold them silver and have a shitload because what do you sell? I mean, what do you say? Here's an ounce of silver. Here, here's 10 ounces of silver. And by the way, if you ever need anything else, what do you always say as they're leaving the door? If you if you ever need any more silver, I got it. I'm your man. Give me a call. Boom. They already know where to go to get free silver now. Uh, so uh, I think out of desperation, people go to pawn shops. I think they're on par with... Um, I won't say pawn shops intend to rip you off because they themselves have their own reputation. But they're they they're just ran, ran by people. Uh, sometimes a lot of the kids that are I won't say kids, they're young adults that are working there make mistakes. They'll accidentally buy a silver coin. They'll accidentally buy a gold coin, perhaps that might be counterfeit. They didn't intend to. But now the owner is forced to eat the cost or pass that fake coin on to a, a desperate crack addict that comes into their shop. Now, I'm not calling you a crack addict, <laughs> but I've seen this happen where they'll accidentally buy a fake silver coin, not realizing it, put it in their, their case for sale not realizing it's fake so it could be a, it could be an honest mistake on their behalf and sell that coin for a profit but then you just bought a fake coin there's all kinds of scenarios okay um the, i'm gonna i'm gonna go out and say that it's very rare it's on the rarer side i don't know why i thought of steak when i said rare um that you buy a fake coin. It is honestly, they a lot of them are knowledgeable. Every now and then they one of the newer team members might do something silly like buy a fake coin, but it's very rare. However, where I don't like pawn shops, pawn shops cater to the desperate clientele. And when they know someone's desperate, they take advantage as far as price. And they won't budge, they won't negotiate on that price. So you walk in, they think, although you're an upscale citizen, that you're some desperate druggie. And they're gonna offer you well under spot for that silver coin. And I'm using silver coins uh, as an example, it could be a gold coin. <clears throat> and they're gonna offer you well, I said well, that's not how I like my steaks, below spot. 
So that's the main reason I don't go to um, pawn shops is just that that whole thing where they're they're trying to they're basically trying to rip people off anybody that comes in their doors. Okay, whether you're selling, sometimes buying, it's just not worth the cost. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the haggle. Um, I think, um, so we've talked about the main three. I believe in going directly to the source. Top tier source would be directly to Atmex, directly to JM Bullion, directly to your favorite online <coughs> dealer. Man, I should start smoking. At least I would have an excuse to cough all the time. I would definitely go to an online dealer if you want brand new coins, top tier, in my opinion, uh, guarantee you're getting the real thing. Uh, an online dealer, I have to say I've never heard of a, a story, a credible story of anybody receiving a counterfeit coin from an online dealer reputable dealer I'm not talking about a dealer that just came online he just started his own uh, business I'm talking about the big boys I never heard of a credible story I've heard stories but not credible right underneath and almost just as good as an online dealer is your local coin shops totally different from a pawn shop buy and sell and they're pretty damn damn honest but there's a couple of tricks to the coin shop because they too want to make a profit they too will uh, give you their lowest bid first whether regardless of whether you're selling or buying you have to tell them or show them that you're not dumb and you got to do it in a way where you don't insult their manhood got to do it politely but you got to show them that you you know what you're doing and that you're no fool so a trick I do when I go into a new coin shop that means a coin shop I've never been in before I dress okay I don't dress like a loser or a bum obviously I'm not gonna put on a suit but I dress clean I go in there I walk in they come up to me on their side of the counter how can we help you and I I pretend to look at my phone. Oh, I'm just looking at the uh, the latest spot price, Mr. Salesman. That's what I call them. No, I don't. I'm just looking at the uh, the the, sale, uh, the spot price today. Immediately, just by saying that, you have not offended them, but you already told them you already know what the going price is. That you know what a spot price is. And if you know what a spot price is, then you know a little bit about silver and gold. They're less likely to even think about taking advantage of you. And always gotten great deals from uh, local coin shops. They're very knowledgeable in what they purchase. They're, uh, I'm sure that the accident, and I say accident because everybody makes mistakes, has been out there where they accidentally purchased a fake coin, but they don't go out of their way to sell fake stuff. They too have a reputation they like to maintain so if you're gonna buy just go directly to the stores don't go here just to get over here don't go to eBay just to go over to Jam Bullion don't go to eBay just to get over to Atmex just go to Atmex directly you don't know who or what you're buying from on eBay and Craigslist it's although it's a step better um, you got to meet people. It, it is kind of a hassle. Do it uh, in a public spot. Uh, but you yourself, unless you got the proper gear, don't know whether it's a counterfeit coin. Right? <laughs> like buying counterfeit rice. Anyway, folks, directly to the dealer or directly to your local coin shop. Take care.